Hey everybody, I'd like to talk to you about thinning handle material. As you can see, this beautiful mammoth ivory is way, way too thick. So I'm going to have to thin it down on my platen and try to get it as close to this thickness of this guard as possible to remove the least amount of external material as possible. Let's do it. I'm using the platen with a 50 grit orange blaze belt. I've sprayed down the belt with a mixture of half kerosene and half lemon oil. It helps to free the grit up from the junk getting caught in the grit of the belt keeps the belt cutting sharper. Right now I'm just trying to remove the, uh, the majority of the mammoth from the back side of the piece. I'll take about half to two thirds of the uh, material down and uh, move to the next step after that. So uh, you might be able to see that I'm kind of working just the top of the mammoth here. It will uh, cut faster and easier if you're just working a portion of it at a time, but you got to be careful that you're not creating different angles on the back side of the handle material or else it won't sit flat on your tang. All right, so first off, I'm gonna figure out by looking at this piece of mammoth and the uh, way it's shaped, the best way that it's gonna fit up and look best on this knife once I have it shaped and finished out. So I think something like this is going to look pretty good. So I'm just going to mark right here. And on this side right here. And with those two marks, I will line up my ruler and draw one straight line across. And that is how I will set it up in the mill to mill my angle on. I have a jig that holds the handle material in the proper position for me to mill an angle onto the end of the handle material so that the handle material can sit flush against the tang and butt up cleanly against the bottom side of the guard. I'm currently using a half inch milling cutter and when I'm done, I will move back to the grinder. This will end up taking multiple passes before I get down to the final dimension that I desire. All right, so now that we've got the back side flattened and we have the top side milled, we can set it up against the handle material and the, the knife and run our pin along the outside like so and then we know how big to make our handle so i'm going to take this piece of mammoth and use my platen and 50 grit orange blaze belt to grind it down to the line and uh, then I'll be ready to thin it down to the final dimensions that I want. Whenever I'm grinding on any natural material I always use my uh, half kerosene half lemon oil spray 
it helps to free up the grip but it also helps to keep the natural handle material from scorching. If I glued up the handle material right now, I would end up losing all of this texture on the outside of the mammoth ivory. So I'm going to remove more material from the backside of the mammoth until it fits closer to the size of the guard. So we can see here that the mammoth is just about right at the level of the guard. So I'm going to go ahead and stop here and move on to the other side of the knife. All right, so we've flattened the material. We milled the angle onto the top of the material so that it fits fleshly up against all sides. And then we also went back and flattened it more, thinning it down to get that nice flush finish there. Any that's sticking up over the top will just get ground down and the guards will get rounded down to these sides and it'll all just come out perfect. And that's how I do it. That's how I flatten my handle material. That way I can save the most exterior texture possible on my handles. Thanks for watching.